Welcome, this is Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to talk about this uh, Foxwell Automotive Diagnostic Tool. Uh, it's a little computer system that reads your car uh, features, like if you have errors and lights that come on, you're not sure really what it's for. You can either take it to a mechanic, and they use something like this. This is actually like a professional version, or you can use this at home and figure out what's wrong with your vehicles by yourself before you even take it to your mechanic. Now they did send me this product for a review and they wanted me to show you what it is and kind of how it works. Now I am, I am not a mechanic, I just wanted to let you know that up front as well, um, but I can show you the basics of it. Um, and if you are looking for something like this, you probably know a lot about them already, but let's go ahead and take a closer look and see what we get. And I'm gonna go plug it in my car and we're gonna, we're gonna test it out and, uh, on a few things and, and see how it works. Okay, as you see, it comes in a very nice um, case for it. So here's what you're going to get in the case. You have a little pocket area here. Now this is going to have your instruction manual. There is a lot to this instruction manual. Uh, you can see there's, um, it's like computer. So there's a lot of features and bells and whistles to it. Uh, you can see there's a lot going on. Uh, then you're going to get this little quick start guide, which will help you get started quickly on there and then uh, inside the bag you're going to have a power cable uh, which powers this up it's a USB-C on one end USB-A on the other and it does come with its own little power source I'm going to show you the plug-in part of it here in just a second but it does come with adapters for different countries so it, depend it doesn't really matter where you live you're going to be able to use this one product uh, all different areas in different countries. This is the one that uh, I would use here in the United States. And then on this side, if we take this little uh, rubber protective off, you can see um, the unit itself. Now this here is the charging part of it. It's the uh, little power adapter, so your USB-A goes in there. And then this goes in, snaps in. Very simple, very easy. I did use this already to charge the, the unit up, so I know it works really well. And then you're going to have the um, the part that goes into the vehicle here. So, um, you know, it plugs into your car. It has little, little power indicators and connector indicators and so forth. Um, now, you can connect it um, through a wire system or through a wireless. This has a wireless system to it. Now let's take a look at the tablet itself. Now this is an Android based system. It's an eight inch screen. Looking at this part here, you have a power button. You have a plus and minus for different controls. And then we have this little flat that opens up and you have the, um, the USB-C part here for charging the battery. Uh, you have a um, HDMI, it's like a mini HDMI plug. If you want to connect this to a monitor for training purposes or you want to be able to see it larger, you can do that. And then this is your um, USB-A connector here. So now you can connect this directly to the um, this little unit here, the little dongle, uh, with the cable using this little cable here. Or you can get a longer one. This one's not very long. Uh, or you can attach the two together. And that will link them up that way. Or again, you can use Bluetooth to connect the two uh, units there. So, and here looking at the back, you actually do have a camera, which is nice because you can take pictures of different things and different parts of your car uh, if you need to uh, send to a mechanic or a mechanic needs to send to a customer or anything like that. And there's a little stand here for it as well. So you can set this up someplace where it's easy to look at and see. So once you power it on, you have this little um, agreement thing here. We're going to do that. And then also you need to create an account. So I do not have an account on here, so I'm going to have to do that. Okay, I think I logged in correctly here. Now this is the screen. You can see that it has a lot of features. It's like a it's a tablet. It's like a phone kind of tablet thing. Uh, you've got your calendars and clocks and emails and cameras and stuff, file management, all that kind of stuff on there. Um, this is the unit itself. Uh, you can connect it to your Wi-Fi. Right now I have it connected to my Wi-Fi. So as you can see, there's a lot of options on here. It's like a little computer on this. Uh, there is a lot of features and functions down below here as well. Um, your Bluetooth connectors for the, the VCI settings, Bluetooth um, update. Okay, I'm out of my car now and I have this hooked up. I have a Honda. I did um, set up the um, account and application. You just have to sign in for it. It's free, not a big deal. Um, as you saw, there's a lot of different features on there. 
okay, since I have this all set up now, I'm going to come over here to Diagnostic. Um, I'm going to go to uh, Honda. It's connecting to the, uh, the plug-in thing. Uh, you're going to see all kinds of stuff in here. So this, um, you can do a quick scan, control your modules, vehicle D. You can do a lot of different stuff. I'm going to go ahead and hit the quick scan, and it's going to go do a test. And uh, it just takes a few seconds to load. And then it's going to scan. Now, there, this is going to do a, a scan on a lot of different things. It's going to take a few minutes for it to go through. Um, I will come back when it's done. Okay, again, I don't know how much you can see here uh, through the camera, but um, it did the uh, quick scan, and it looks like the pass, no fault, no fault, no fault, no fault, all the way down. So 12 items it checked with no faults. You can save it, you can report, you can erase, you can do different things with it. So that's just the quick scan. And then again, you can do different things, control models, vehicles, details. You can look at all kinds of stuff on here. That's your camera. You can take you can take pictures of things. This little spaceship. Oh, that's the internet. You can get onto the internet to check things. Uh, if you hook it up to the Wi-Fi. Oh, that was a screen capture. You just save that. Maintenance. You have a whole different maintenance section here um, that you can go through and check different things. Your oil reset. There's tons and tons of stuff. I mean, this is not going to be, this is not a tutorial on every single features. Um, I don't really know how to use this very much other than just run those basic tests. But um, this gives you an idea of what it is, what it looks like. This thing does a lot of stuff. It does anything and everything you need it to do, except, I guess, fix the problems. Uh, that's what your mechanic comes into or yourself if you are inclined <laughs> to do your own maintenance. But um, I just wanted to show you that. Um, it's a pretty cool unit. It's heavy duty. It's rugged. Um, it works really well connected with no problem when I plugged it in it just automatically connected very very nice um, if you are looking for a, uh, a, a Car diagnostic tool like this whether you're a homeowner and do-it-yourselfer or if you are a mechanic then uh, this one may be the right one for you